Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and some weird lighting. We have a DIY palooza today. I'm gonna make a bunch of signs for you using all different materials from different stores. So I've got Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, I think some Joanne, maybe some Michaels, I don't know, all the things from all the places. Um, so instead of going over my supplies with you now, I will show you the supplies we're gonna use for each product or each sign that we're gonna make. How does that sound? So fun to me. So let's get busy, we've got a lot to cover. Okay, the first sign we're gonna make I saw this, I think, on Kirkland's website. And it's a, it's a, I'm assuming it's a poem, but it says, when witches go riding and a black cat, and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. And it's just on a very, very plain board. So what I did, this is a Dollar Tree canvas, 11 by 14. And then I got the tumble blocks and I glued them together end to end, the tumbling tower game, and I spray painted them black. This is going to be the border to go around the picture. I did cut this out on my Cricut. You could handwrite it. You could, um, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. I happen to have cut this one out with my Cricut. Um, you could also take sticker letters, although I feel like that would take a really long time. All right, so now when you use a Cricut, you need what's called transfer tape. I use Dollar Tree Clear contact paper as my transfer tape, and I'll show you what it does. So you put it down over the letters, you flip it over, and what the transfer tape does is it exactly what it says. It transfers your letters in perfect spacing, how you printed it out, or in this situation, how I cut it with my Cricut. So I put it letter side down onto the sticky paper and then very carefully you peel the back off. And I'm going to show you that Target is selling something that you will need transfer tape for if you want to do what I'm doing with their stuff. So now the stickers are off the backing and they're onto this clear tape. If you saw these at the Target dollar spot, this is what they are. They've basically taken their version of a Cricut. It's not a Cricut, but whatever they have. And these letters, you can peel them off individually or you could stick them to this tape like I did called transfer tape. And what I like is I can see through it and how I'm going to center it. But you want to be gentle because once you put this down, it's down for the most part. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to take, this is like a little spatula or board scraper. Now, I did put a layer of white paint down to help this stick. These letters do not like to stick to plain canvas. But these um, already cut ones that I found at Target, you could get a, a plain square canvas and attach those and just use the technique I'm using. Just remember, it doesn't come with the transfer tape. Okay. Now, in order to get this off, again at an angle. There we go. That is done. I can keep that transfer tape too. It'll work on several. Now, the only other thing I want to do, because it was happening, I know it's 11 inches across, right? Where is it? I have this little number 31 that I want to center the bottom down here. So it's 11 inches across. What's half of 11? Five and a half. So I just need... Just cut a little piece. And this is just clear shelf liner, Dollar Tree. I buy it all the time. You can get transfer tape for your Cricut, um, but I will tell you, this works just as good, if not better, and it's super cheap. Okay, so we want this centered at five and a half inches right there. Oh my 
gonna peel the back off. And we, oop, let me get you back up here. I want it right here. There we go, look at that. And then one last step, after, and then we'll glue the border on. And what they've done, and I'm gonna do, is take a black Sharpie, and I'm gonna say from a quarter of an inch, that way and that way and this is exactly what their sign looks like all right we'll just put in the outside border on using some fix all and some hot glue and making it work it is going to be just a tad bit bigger than the frame but that's really not a problem that's why i put the glue on the um canvas here's the finished product and then coming up we've got a picture a side by side of mine and the kirkland and i think we did a great job okay next sign i bought this sign at the dollar spot at target it was five dollars um i have only seen them a couple times but i know they have them at hobby lobby and here's my Dollar Tree sign. I just painted it like this coppery brown color. And all we're gonna do is glue it in the center of this sign. Like how perfect is that? Right, because I think that's perfect. So what we're gonna do, flip it over. Ah, that's my toe. No, it's fine. I'm gonna use some of this Fix All and hot glue like we've been doing. One for long-term and one for quick. Hold it in place, right? And this, I think, will look amazing just sitting on a shelf. You know, sitting somewhere. I don't know where in your house because I'm not there. Okay, so I have that. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue. Give myself some blobs of hot glue quickly and then we're gonna flip it over okay and all I did here was paint now you do want to make sure you're even and that's it done now this has hooks on the back so it can be hung I'm gonna leave it lay flat until tomorrow just to make sure everything is dry. Sign number three was equally as easy. From the Dollar Tree, these chalkboards, I literally took a Cricut, I painted it, and I just put a Hocus Pocus sticker on there. Now, I cut this out with my Cricut, but you can use any sticker. You could even take these stickers that come from the Target spot and use them separately to make them fit on here. Because this one says pumpkin, spice, and everything nice. Maybe you'll just say pumpkin spice and put a pumpkin. You don't have to use the whole saying. But that's literally it. And it'll sit on my counter and I love it. I love the chalkboard effect with the white. But it's just a sticker. I painted it. I can put something fall on the back as well. I did that in copper. Sign number three, one dollar plus whatever little bit of vinyl that I use. Now I know you need to have a Cricut for that. Sign number four is also a dupe from um, Kirkland's. Girl, words today. Let's have some coffee. Maybe that will help. Now at Kirkland's, their sign is metal. My sign is not. This is just a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree that I painted to look roundish, right? And then I did the top in brown. The bottom, I took the yard sign that was said home gathers, uh, home gather here, friends gather here, home something something, anyway. And I painted the, the back to look like wood, right? And then I took the metal welcome sign 
and painted it with white chalk paint. So that's the kicker with these signs. You want chalk paint. Um, I'm debating if I want to have it flat or have it lifted. Let's make it flat for right now, and then maybe I can lift it later if I want to. And when you do these with hot glue, you don't have to glue the whole back. You just want to get... Because any strees uh, will cut off after the fact. And you just stick it down there. And I want it a little raised, so I'm not mushing it all the way. I'm letting it stay just a little raised. And now we have welcome on here. And then there's some little stringies. And afterwards, like I said, we'll go through and pluck them off. So that's the bottom. The top up here, I'm going to put um, hang string. Then I'm just going to tie a knot. That's really the, the whole gist here. For the top. I don't need it hung too tall, so we'll just do that. Tie this knot, and I'm just cutting it. And that's the tippity top, right? I do want to put, I don't know if I want a bow. Do I want a bow, guys? I don't know. You know how I feel about bows, right? But... I might need a bow of some sort, but I definitely am going to glue these metal pumpkin leaves on here. I think I'll do two of them. You know, these were off of the fronts of these. I think I have some other ribbon, like an orange ribbon or something. I'll make a bow. I guess one bow won't hurt me. Hmm. Do that there. I will tell you, when you're hot gluing on metal, it gets hot, just so you know. So that's gonna go there. And the last thing is we want this. It's gonna dangle along the bottom. So I'm just gonna take some of this string. We're gonna hot glue it to the back so that it hangs nice and evenly. So we're gonna flip it over here. Give us a little glob of glue. So I buried it in the glue, right? Cause that's what you wanna do. And then I just put a little more on top. So that's gonna have to sit for a minute. Let me go make my bow. Okay, what I did on the back is I cut my two pieces. I glued them evenly with some globs of glue. So when I pick it up, it'll hang. Now the one I saw at Kirkland's was hanging on some coiled up um, metal, like metal springy looking stuff. And then I just tied a bow. I tied the center with a little twine just to give it a little extra dimension in the back. Where you can see, I'm going to glue it down. How easy was that? And on this pumpkin, I just painted it white. And then I took some copper and browns and just took my brush and went like that in the angle that you wanted it. Dry brushed it. And that's what it's going to look like at the top. The bottom will hang. I will put all this stuff where it goes or I'll show it to you all. But we have our little copper leaves here, our little welcome at the bottom. I love it. This whole sign probably cost me less than $5 to make. I think it was $19.99 on Kirkland's. I'll have a better view for you once everything has been dried. Sign one, two, three, four. That's sign number four. Sign number five. 
<laughs> it was so easy. I took one of these little signs here that had like the tractor on it. You can take your um, X-Acto knife and just draw it across and it snaps right off. Well then, because, you know, I'm extra, I popped the back out and I painted it white and I painted the frame black and this is for Halloween. And let's center it together, shall we? This is a like three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I will say here is center. And I just took two letters, two numbers from the Dollar Tree and I painted them with some orange paint. And this is gonna go either by my coffee bar or on my tiered tray. Oops. I dropped it with glue on it. The good thing about glue is if you get it right away, you can pretty much just rub it off of your mat and stuff. So there we have the three. And this is not going to require much glue at all. And I used a paint pen actually to paint these. I'll show you. It's a oil-based paint pen that I had in this color. I used a Sharpie oil pen because it was handy. Now, in the back here, I could glue it back together, but honestly, it just stays. I think that's pretty cool. Just a basic Halloween sign. You can put anything in here you want. Sign number six is multiple. I took these houses. I painted them my color scheme, which is navy blue and copper for fall. And I just left the outside wood. I have three of them in three different shapes. And I was at Target Dollar Spot, and these packages of wooden stickers and words were $1. And this one, look at all the words. It's all grateful and thankful in different colors. So you get a grateful and thankful in orange and white and natural. And I think what I'm going to do is take the word thankful and just stick it in this frame. Now, these are stickers on the back. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Now, how well they stick is yet to be determined. But I've got the glue gun out, right? That's how we roll. Or if you have just regular old white glue. But if it comes off. <laughs> how easy was that? Just sit. And I'm going to bunch these three together. So we have the word thankful. I could have used grateful, but I was feeling thankful. And then these are all just leaves and unfinished wood. So I'm just gonna make a little, hold on. I wanna see what shapes we have, right? Here. I knew I had one where the sticker was actually coming off. So I'm just gonna put couple sticker leaves in here, right? And they're like falling, falling leaves. That is it guys. I mean, how easy. And I'm going to put them all together and I'll let them just sit here and here for a second but the last one I have is another package so these are all separate packages and this one is all wood as well and it came with different colored pumpkins and gourds and I definitely want a big orange pumpkin here I don't know if I want them to maybe like they're sitting in there I don't know what do you guys think oh maybe or do I want to just put a big one in the middle Maybe a pumpkin over here in a gourd. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yes, an orange pumpkin. I can't figure out on the white which side the sticker's on. I think it's on this back here. But how easy are these little projects to do? Anybody can do it. It just takes a little paint and whatever color decor you have that you wanna match. And if this isn't your colors, you can paint these. They're wood. You can totally paint them. And I know they have them at the Dollar Tree as well. So we have that. We'll go on one side, we have that. And then in the center, we'll have Thankful. And it's a little trio of signs that are all coordinated but are different. And like I said, there's all different colors in here that you can utilize. Look at this tiny little pumpkin. You can layer the pumpkins. Where's that one? I could layer them if I wanted. Maybe I will. Oh yeah, that's cute. Let's layer it. Oh. And the thing is you could just lay them out until you decide what you want. Because until you pull the sticker off the back, it's just little wood chips. And I know that for Christmas, I just bought some uh, wooden stickers. So I know they have them. Okay, let's put these little wooden pieces of chip wood back. Now this one, again, Dollar Tree and Target combination. Um, I took a canvas sign, I cut it down the back, took out the canvas itself, I painted the frame brown, and then I just drew this with marker, right? And then this home sticker was a dollar from Target. Now, again, what we're going to do, I don't know which direction do you think we should go. I think I like it that way, or do I like it that way? I think I like it this way. So we're going to do it like that. We're going to need transfer tape again. You don't have to, and this one doesn't tell you to do this, but I'm telling you, if you want this to come and everything to be nice and even. Oh, and then I stapled the canvas on the back. You can glue it as well, but I chose to staple it. So these are stuck on here. They're wood chip and they're stickers. However, if I pop them off, then I'm gonna have to even up how I want them to go. And that's not how we're gonna roll. So, what are you doing in there, sis? I'm dog sitting my brother's dog today, Jody. She's behind me. Sorry, I'm getting some of this mess cleaned out of our way. Okay. So I'm doing it on the top, right? Making sure it sticks, flipping it over. Now I'm going to take this clear off the back. The goal is, oh, this is not working as well with these chips of wood, but we'll hope for the best. The goal is to transfer it without moving their spacing. Like that. Even though they're chipped wood, it's okay. It still worked. And then I'm just gonna pretend like I'm even and I'm gonna center this down. And everything stays evenly spaced, right? And now our sign is stuck. Now I'm gonna let this, like I said, cure a little bit. I don't know how sticky the back is, but I just use that to transfer it. Sign number eight. The last of the signs is another Cricut Dollar Tree combo. So I love this saying. It is from Anne of Green Gables. And it says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. So I made this out of a burgundy vinyl on my Cricut. Again, you can take stickers. You don't have to use um, a Cricut to do this. This is what I have to work with, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 
And what's great about this transfer tape Dollar Tree vinyl, it's a dollar. The stuff that you buy from Cricut, not a dollar. And you don't have to use it just for Cricut. You saw, I was just using it with regular stickers. But you could also take from the Target spot, put these on here, put this in the middle of a sign. It's already done for you. This is those signs that said reception, gifts, drinks. And I took them apart and I glued them together. I left the little legs on to support the back. And then I painted it orange. It took a couple, actually I did white first and then orange to cover up the words. And then I just took a little brown and rubbed it in between to make it look like our picket fence. Mm -hmm. And then we have this words here and then I'll glue a hanger on the back. And this is gonna go on my front porch, actually. I know where this one's going, for sure. But we'll. Now, again, same thing like all of them. We're just gonna try to find our little center-ish area. I'm gonna stand up for this one, guys, it's big. And there. Now this vinyl here is called Oracle Oracle 350. Oracle 651. It is outdoor grade. I order it online. It's the cricket vinyl is okay. But this is actually outdoor grade, and I wanted to hang this outside, but I didn't specially order it for this. I have plenty of vinyl, but I chose it because it's got, it's an outdoor quality. This should sit overnight. Um, you just want to watch. If your letters start pulling, you stop and push it back down. But I did good. And then all I need to do on this is put a hanger on the back. Isn't that pretty? It just says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. Well, maybe it's not perfectly straight, but it's gonna be hanging on my front porch. So we have that and that is it. I can also put like maybe some flowers up here or some greenery. I could put a little pumpkin down here. Like there's a hundred things I can do. I can spray it. To seal it but yeah that is eight signs all that I got from inexpensive frugal supplies Dollar Tree Target Dollar Spot and things I already had on hand so I'll come back in a moment and I will show you the finished products once everything has dry had a chance to dry and cure all right everybody thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed my DIYs and what I came up with with some basic craft materials from Target, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and I hope you can create some of your own. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.